ladies welcome back to your channel hold on y'all let me plug this in right away because i totally forgot once again that my microphone isn't plugged in all right you guys so hi aries welcome back to the channel it's always a blessing to have you guys here if you are new here welcome and if you are returning to the channel I welcome you back. You know you're a diamond. Please continue to shine bright, my darlings, like a diamond. Okay. Now I'm gonna get into a prayer, you guys. For the ones that are new, we do pray here. And with your returning to my channel, just know that you are appreciated by me. Always. Oh, let's get into a prayer. This is gonna be your mega read, you guys. All right. So let's get an angel here as well. As you can see, I'm not prepared at all. So let me go ahead and light up my candle here. Let's light that candle up. Because we have to have the Holy Spirit coming through here. Let me put this over here, you guys. Hold on, honey. Hold on. put it here where you guys could see where I could see all right I think that's perfect all right guys let's pray heavenly father as I come before you ask for your blessings for myself and for my seekers heavenly father please send the most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel give me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know heavenly father I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus name we pray amen all right so Aries, just know that this reading is a general reading and not a personal one. It may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does resonate with you and leave the absolute rest, okay? It could pull in your person, whether it's a past person or future person or even a present one. Just place them where you need to place them in your life right now. Cross Watcher is absolute same. It goes for you as well. Personal reading is also available on the channel, you guys, and it's easy to connect with me. Simply by using the information, the information that I have provided to you guys in the description of the video. Also, starting on um, the first Monday of this month, the coming month, which is October, I will be on my daughter's channel for seven days, and she will be on mine for seven days, okay? So, if you guys want to see me, just come over to my daughter's channel, which is the Scene Tarot. And subscribe over there okay I will be doing um, Gemini Scorpio and Cancer and she will be doing Gemini Scorpio and Aries over here so you won't miss anything she's amazing she's a phenomenal okay all right let's see the angels that's coming to right now is the angel of wisdom okay so the angel of wisdom will be the 36th angel in line. So I thank you, Angel of Wisdom, for coming through to assist me with this reading. Um, for Aries, I appreciate you. We appreciate you. All right, Aries, let's see what Angel wants you to know at this time. Okay. And again, know that the roles could be reversed. Don't force your read, you guys. It's not meant for you to force. Just take what's yours and throw the rest in the trash where it belongs, okay? Okay. All right, you guys. This is my deck. It's called the Awakening 1111. It is ready for purchase, you guys. So, um, all you have to do also to connect to receive this deck is to go ahead and check in the description of the video. Um, the same way that you connect with me for a personal is the same way you connect with me to purchase your your card deck. It is beautiful. It's amazing. It's an amazing deck. You're going to love it. All right. Let's see. What is the message at this time? Oh, look at that. Okay. What is the message at this time, angels, for Aries? What is the message for Aries at this time? All right, Aries, so I'm seeing here, okay, so there's a couple of things that I'm seeing here for some of you guys, okay? I really feel like you're either dealing with your happiness right now. 
you read it, you're earning a want to be happy. Your happiness, your money, um, the flow of your life, where your life is going, what you're looking forward to. For some of you right now, Aries, you're either feeling very empty. Um, for some of you, you're either feeling like there's a, something of a mystery that has connected itself to you. But what I am hearing is an attachment here or something that might have attached itself to you. This situation might have attached itself to you spiritually, emotionally, or financially. And it's really putting you in a place here where you start to question your emotions here. Your emotions of love, your emotions with the ability to manifest your, your financial stability in accordance, okay? Um... I feel like for some of you, you're either feeling like there's something that's dark that's maybe connecting you. You're feeling like someone might have done something to you, maybe spoke some kind of a spell work or something that's kind of keeping you from really moving forward into your happiness. I'm hearing, why do you still hold on to me? So you are attached definitely to someone that you're either trying to kind of walk away from a situation for some of you guys. But you feel like there's maybe this person is really tapping into your energy and kind of, of not having you moving forward. Even though this is what you feel like you want to do or this is what you're yearning to do. But this person is a mistress. So you're really kind of finding, trying to find a way to move forward. Settling for less but want more. Someone wants more. Someone know. For some of you guys, you know at this point that whatever it is that is connected to you right now is is not a vibe that you're feeling happy with it's not a vibe where you know you're feeling any peace it's not a vibe where you're feeling comforted um for some of you you know you're feeling either dis distracted or some of you just feeling disconnected from what it is that you really truly know that you're deserving at this point um, but it's also feeling of finding it very difficult to kind of moving forward. Moving forward is not necessarily in the sense of where you really want to leave anyone behind. But as far as manifesting your peace and your joy here, um, I'm hearing no choice for some of you. Um, spiritual awakening. This is what I'm hearing. Um, spiritual awakening that, that is needed right now a sense of force a sense of light a sense of not only light but an enlightenment to rectify your your spirit guides um and the answers that are work that are working um over time to help you and to guide you into this happiness and this abundance of uh, putting your life in order which is bringing stability and balance here tell me more Okay, so there's a lot of confusion here, okay? Um, I feel like this confusion that is coming in, I really feel like this is why you're feeling either empty. Someone is either making you very confused or feeling very trapped here. This is what I'm seeing here. It's just the Eight of Swords. Someone is either feeling trapped or stuck or finding it hard to, to release something, there's also a lot of conflicts that's connected to you. So there may be going to be, a, there may be a lot of arguments and conflicts that's going back and forth with your energy. Conflicts are overtaking me, but you're all that I see. So even though the situation that is kind of connecting itself to you, you, you know that this is something that is making you feeling very tired and worn for some of you. But you really know it in your spiritual heart that you really need to release this eight of pentacles. But still dealing with conflicts and confusion and not wanting to move forward. Well, you know what? Divine intervention is at work here, okay? Um, something is stepping in, you guys. Why? Because healing is needed here. Um, whatever it is that is bounded itself, whatever it is that is causing these conflicts and confusion here... Um, your life is calling for healing. You're hurting. There's a lot of pain here because someone is saying that I'm nice, but I wear a mask on the low. Okay. So because this person is wearing a mask here and because your life is feeling so empty and low, um, 
healing is trying to find its way, but the only way it can really find its, its way towards you is only with divine intervention. So something is at play here. Um, I'm hearing depth here, surrender, peace anxiety and family here that's what's coming true here now what i am seeing here um aries i'm hearing if you're not the one that is connected to this person as far as family structure is then they're connected elsewhere the ten of the ten of cups this person may want to be with you this is this is who they want to be with or this could be you but someone is saying, I'm trying to, to make time. Hope you feel the same. So someone is ready to put the effort in to make a connection work here. But yet, it's a place of peace. It's a place of surrendering a situation. It's a place of being in depth and deep here. This could be a very strong sided intimacy that one has for the other. For some of you, this, this uh, surrendering is coming through as a fire. So it could be an area to an Aerie or, an, or, or a Leo or a Sag who's also connected to your energy, okay? Um, trust but move with caution right now because you're trying to get peace. Peace is bringing in a water sign here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces person, okay? Or someone that shares this in their chart. But this is a feeling where someone is so emotional right now. I'm so emotional, I can't tell you everything because I'm stuck. I'm stuck and this is why the anxiety is coming through. The anxiety is having me feel like someone is either coming towards you with some kind of a second chance offer here. Um, heartbreaks and the feeling of being alone hurts me, but I must let you go. I must let go. I must let go. I'm wanting to let go. I'm needing to let go. Someone is trying to figure out how do I let go. But at the end of the day, the second chance is coming in where someone is trying to find peace here. But something needs to be surrendered, you guys. Trust no one but move with caution. You have to move with caution right now. Um, angels are saying that because there's a solid intimacy, someone is still holding on depth, in depth, really in depth here. Go for it and let me take you out sometime. So this person really wants the second chance. I'm hearing a reconciliation. This is a reconciliation that is coming through here, okay? So someone wants to make some kind of a man here. Um, maybe trying to fix a connection or if this is not them, then this is definitely you that wants to fix this connection, okay? Someone wants, someone is hoping that a uh, connection can be resolved. Let's see. All right, angels. Tell me more, please. What is the message here, please? What is the message for Aries at this time? What is the message for Aries at this time? What's the message to Aries at this time? What's the message to Aries at this time? Okay. Now for some of you guys, okay, um, what I'm seeing here, is that you may be going to whatever it is that you're facing, whatever it is that you may be going through or dealing with right now. Um, I really feel like you, you should, let me tell you something. Let's just say it as it is. I'm not even going to butter it up, okay? Whatever it is that you're dealing with, you, if you need to ask for help, ask for the help. I'm hearing somebody's dealing with a serious case of depression, Okay. Or uh, someone is just feeling very withdrawn here. It is okay to ask for help. I do feel like for some of you guys, you're either dealing with pride here. Pride is getting the best of you. Pride is getting in the way of, of, of you healing. Even for, to get the clarity that you're searching for. To answer that you're searching for. For some of you, you just have to ask for the help. 
ask for help because helpful people are there for you. Not only is the angel and the universe is what at play in your life, divine intervention, but there's someone that can't that's coming in to help you. This could be someone that you might already know, or this may be someone that is fast approaching, but you just have to be prepared to to receive the help that is coming in, okay? But some of you may be thinking about packing up and just moving somewhere. Um, I'm seeing you packing up your clothes and your books here um, and your pillows and everything and just moving, okay? Um, but there's, there's other stuff that needs to happen first, okay? Um, if you guys are planning on moving, you have to take care of what is needed to be taken care of right now because see moving away from the situation is not going to help the situation you're going to be moving with the baggage anyway okay um so there's something that needs to be rectified here first before you even make the attempt to move away or to get away from that situation okay um i do feel like for some of you either trying to build some kind of a balance here or some kind of a a situation where you're trying to get something together with this four. I'm, fe I'm feeling the four ones here, okay? Um, I do feel like you might have tried to build something with this person. Um, something might have fell apart. Something kind of felt like it needed to be divided. Or someone made it feel that way. Like something was separated. Um, leaves can show you how beautiful it can be. To let go what is dying okay leaves can show you how beautiful it can be to let go what is dying this is what the card says you guys oh my goodness oh look at this stand in your power my good listen this it doesn't get any clearer than this okay oh my gosh i'm in shock with this one i'm in total shock with this one oh, clarify this please because like, I, like I'm telling you you guys listen whatever it is that you're dealing with right now running away from it is not going to help you have to face it head on you're going to have to face this head on because it's not going to change you guys just know that this is not supposed to be in this deck it's not going to change. It's just going to be like, it's going to be following you every single year. You turn. No peace. Okay. So I'm hearing a day here. What is this day? Because I'm hearing a day like spike. Someone is on, on the, the clock or something might have happened on a specific day. Okay, so there's not enough time. <laughs> All right, so this is it's kind of a, a feeling of you being either given a situation time to give you what you wanted or someone promised you something on a specific day or something happened on a specific day and time here. But listen, there's not enough time. Okay, look at this. Oh my goodness. This, this reading, you guys, is giving me shivers. It's like I'm like, I'm having chills while I'm doing this read. Um, I really feel like I'm doing a personal here. This is how I'm feeling with this one. Clarify this, please. All right, so I'm getting the number two, two here. For some of you, um, it really feels like it's a no. It's a no. It's just a hell no. That's what that means. It's just a hell no. It's a hell to the no. Tell me more. It's a hell no, you guys. Mm -mm. Okay. So I'm hearing something is about to happen for you guys next summer. So whatever you was kind of planning or thinking or doing or whatever this could be. The two two here. It's just remember it's it's a no it's a hell to the no okay i'm here in summer so i'm really feeling like something you had either gotten some sign or some kind of awakening or some kind of awareness this summer 
but I'm hearing this could be another year before you really have some clarity based on what you're we're planning on moving on to or running away from something is going to be changing i'm hearing time here the universe is at, at the universe got your back the universe got your back here allow others to help you and you increase your chances of of success again right there allow others to help you because honey what is coming towards you is nothing to play with here. Tell me more. Tell me more, angels. All right, so angel wants you to trust your intuition here is what they're saying. Because right now, for some of you, you know, you you have what it takes to make sound decision and have them stick here. But however, for some of you, you know, your mind is kind of get the best of you. Think things over, over, te you tend to overthink things. And then you kind of get yourself being all wind up and, and twined up and then everything kind of falls apart here. Appreciate the gift of life. This is what the angels are saying, that you need to appreciate the gift of life to help you to discover the joy um, available to you each day, okay? Um, they also are saying here that no definite answers can be given at this time as far as what you were looking to find out within the next couple of days, okay? Now, angels are saying that the conditions aren't right at this time, more work is needed to be done with whatever it is that you're searching to find here. Once again, temporarily closed for construction. Something better will come instead. Closed. It's a hell to the no. Stop obsessing. Stop obsessing. Tell me more. What's this? All right. So let it go. What's meant to be, what's meant to be, or what will, what should be yours will be yours. Okay. Angel is definitely saying that you need to let go. What's meant for you will find its way to you and it will stay. It is just not for you. It's just not for you. Tell me more. All right, so for some of you, I'm getting the number 14 here. This number 14 um, is having me feel like you need to fight for your rights, okay? Don't back down. Fight for your rights. The answers will find you. Don't search for the answers anymore that you're seeking. Things are going to come crystal clear when you least expect it. Tell me more. Okay, so pay attention to the music. Okay, the time is now. Angels are saying that you, you don't rush things. Just don't rust it because for some of you, you're either connected to someone who's wearing a mask or their, or their main name is just a damn mask, okay? Now, I'm getting the 1111 for some of you guys. Just be careful because you're walking into a dead end here. Be careful with what you wish for, okay? Just be careful about your movement here and evaluate where this is going. For some of you, just need to take action with this 1111 here because something bigger and better is coming. Tell me more with this dead end here. What is this dead end here? What is this dead end here? Nature is all you need. Angel just saying that you need to find the answers within. However, okay, you're ready to know the answers though, but you have to trust in divine timing. Trust in divine timing. I told you so, right? And again, they're saying that you need to stop obsessing here. 
a being obsessed is not the answer. You just will have to stop that cycle. And don't let that cycle take the best of you. Take action. Okay. You can do it. Reevaluate where you're going, and then after you reevaluate re where you're going, then expect the unexpected here. For some of you guys, I do feel like you know you may have been waiting for some kind of a call here, but what I do here is that beck and call that you're looking for. That's not going to happen until I say within the next five months from now. Don't rush the process. Don't force it. Don't rush it. It's not meant to be forced. It's not meant to be forced. And that's for some period. It's not meant to be forced. You're going to walk into something very sour here. What's the message, please? Let me have two cards here from the stack. We have two messages from this deck, please, for Aries at this time. Aries and their person, or whatever is connected to both. Aries and their person, or whatever, who or whoever is connected to both. What is it that I need to share? What's the message here at this time? What's the message at this time? These cards ain't supposed to be in there. What's the message at this time for Aries? There we go. I asked for two cards and angels gave me those two cards. Angels of Wisdom, number 36. Let's see what this angels is saying here. Okay, so what I am seeing here, Aries, um, I do feel like for some of you guys, you're either feeling very broken right now, really broken, because I'm seeing you guys kind of peer into a window here and the window is pitch dark, okay? So you either found yourself in a very dark place, um, for some of you trying to get up this dark, out of this dark place, um, but you're blinded or you're in a blind spot, Okay. Um, I, I'm hearing they didn't, they didn't keep their promises that they had made. Someone didn't keep a promise. Someone broke a promise. Okay. Um, they make, they may break your heart, but not your spirit though. Okay. So your heart might've been broken, but this person will never broke, break your spirit. Because see, even though you feel like you're in a blinded spot right now, caught up in a whirlwind here you can see what really what's really going on but ask a trusted friend for advice this is what the angels are saying and if you guys could kind of go back um where i did say that it's okay to ask for the help that you need okay um just be careful who you ask for the help though but angels are saying that you have you ask a trusted friend. Ask a trusted a trusted friend um, to uh, help you here. Okay, um, you're not alone. You're definitely not alone. Um, this trusted friend may give you some really solid, concrete advice. It could be a spiritual friend. Okay, it could be a, a, a spiritual reader that you may find yourself connected to. That not only will give you a personal reading, but this person will also give you personal advice as well because it comes from the heart. This is what I'm seeing, but it has to be someone that you're connected to and they're also connected to you as well. So this way you're not getting fake advice, okay? That's going to have your situation falling apart. But I also feel like, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is that you're searching for, I'm hearing that things are coming clear for you, but you know, you just know that you're not alone here. And I do see you really feeling to the point where you're broken, where you're crying here. I'm hearing wipe these tears. These tears are meant to be wiped away. 
immediately okay this is what i'm here for some of you guys cry no more wipe these tears here okay um because i'm seeing you moving forward here and it's needed to and you're needing to Okay, all right, let's clarify these messages. Angels, let's get to work, please. Can we clarify these messages here, please? Let me make sure that my camera is still recording because you know something? My camera, you guys, it be stopping, you guys. Like, literally. I be thinking that I'm still recording and the thing just goes blank, okay? And we're not trying to have that happen today. All right, let's see. Let's see. Okay, Angel, let's clarify these messages, please. Let's clarify these messages, please. All right, so we have the moon here. What's the moon? Okay, so we have the two of cups in the reverse. So, what I am seeing here, okay, is that you guys may right now not, whatever is going on with the energy, okay, you guys are definitely seems to be in separation, simply because you guys are not able to connect the proper way that you need to connect, because see, because the moon is here and the two of cups is in the reverse, you definitely been dealing with some kind of a lie here. Um, someone might have lied to you, hurt you really, really bad here. Um, I do feel like because there's so much secrets going on with your connection, this is why the two of cups came through in the reverse. And this, these lies and these secrets really did cause a separation um, for some of you, a fear, okay? Um, but I also feel like at this point, because you also, not only you're dealing with secrets and lies with this person, but you're also dealing with um, betrayals. And again, as a reminder, this is why this is in the reverse, two of cups. And this is why you guys are in separation. Now, I do feel like, again, that you shouldn't share too much at this point with this person, you guys. Um, I feel like you should limit. I'm hearing limitations here, Okay. What is the Two of Cups and the Star here, please? Okay, so the High Priestess is here. Now, the High Priestess being here, um, you know, the Two of Cups, the High Priestess, the Moon. Um, I do feel like, you know, right now you just have to clear your mindset here moving forward. Um, I do feel like you're going to have to trust your intuition here because your intuition is speaking right into the energy of this High Priestess. And I feel like you're either going to um, find some way to kind of heal your broken heart here. Not only are you trying to find a way to heal this broken heart, but you're really, really, really tapping into your spiritual calling. This cross here, you guys, is you really standing your ground and using your power here to clear your mind, to free your mindset, and to kind of resonate to a higher self here, okay? You're walking into your destiny. You're walking into a joy here. And you, you're leaving betrayal behind. And you're finding peace within yourself, within your soul here. You're wearing your crown of pride. You're moving into victory here. And you're not allowing anything to set you back anymore. And with being the high priestess, you're letting go of everything. You're letting go of the burdens and the struggles here. Because, see, you've been holding on to so many things, um, Aries. This is what I'm seeing. You've been holding on to a lot and it has really, really, really kind of played its part. Okay. It has really kind of set you back um, to the things where that you could have achieved many, many things. But because for some of you might have kind of put yourself on the back burner for others and you have not allowed yourself to really grow in love with you. This is where you really had felt very overwhelmed and very overburdened and very overly stressed here because of what you had might have invested, okay? But the more that you might have put into the situation is the more the situation fell apart because see a fear of losing something, you decided to kind of hold on to a situation here that didn't necessarily need it to be held on to. I feel like this situation might have needed to be released and let go and set free here 
if it was meant to come back, it would have. But someone decided to keep holding on here. What is the Ten of Wands? What is the Ten of Wands? What is the Ten of Wands here? What is the Ten of Wands here? Purify the Ten of Wands, please. So Aries at this time. Okay, so the Ten of Wands is the Page of Cups. Um, the Page of Cups in the reverse. The Page of Cups in the reverse and the Strength card here. Now, see, I'm seeing a lot of manipulation that is coming through this Page of Cups. This person is very manipulative, okay? Whatever um, or whatever you try to re rectify a situation, this person was very manipulative. They wanted to be in control. They wanted to be in power here. Um, but b being a manipulator or trying to have an ego or whatever it is that was coming through this energy, they know that what they were doing. They wasn't blind. They wasn't shaken. They knew what they were doing because all of a sudden, this person... That wasn't playing mind games and be very manipulative. They want to come back and apologize. Hold on, y'all. They want to apologize now, okay? Because I really see an apology that is trying to come through, that's trying to set in. But because this person is filled with so much ego, they're holding on to this apology. Um, and not only I do feel like they're holding on, if they even decide to come towards you with this apology, I do feel like they're not going to tell all. They're going to hold, be holding back a lot of things, holding back the truth. But for you, you're gathering your strength for this because if you decided to give this person a second chance here, um, you're going to have to gather a whole lot of strength here to approach a situation and not only are they gathering, you're gathering your strength to approach the situation once they approach you with this apology, they're also gathering their strength to approach you as well because this person might have even lost confidence within themselves because they know that you're the high priestess at this point because they know that you, they see the change in with you, okay, is what they have seen for sure. And because they see the change, because you're not the same person you was when this all started, the craziness all started, when somebody decided to start juggling many things here and tapping into your energy in the worst of way, okay? Um, you're not playing any mind games here anymore. You're not playing, you know, any manipulated games anymore with this person you're not playing any ego elastic game with this person you're just trying to set free and again you're you're really building your your strength here you're gathering everything that you have inside so that you will face this situation heads on the four of wands in the reverse what is the four of wands in the reverse the four of wands in the reverse is the lovers in the reverse the lovers in the reverse is a nine of one, the nine of swords, and the emperor also in the reverse. So you definitely have to take control of the situation, okay? Um, because this person could be very abusive here. Um, I feel like this person may be cheating because this is in the reverse. Um, I also feel like somebody this was really mental with your mind, okay? Somebody trying to play a mental game here. And they did because the Nine of Swords had me feel like someone just kind of felt like they were dying here. For some of you, you might have even suffered some kind of a loss here. Um, some kind of a delay or feeling very depressed or feeling with anxiety or something that you may need to seek help with. And again, I already felt that when I just started your read, okay? Um, but I just feel like it's time that you let go. Just let go here and allow yourself to take back what it is that is yours and true. You are going to be blocking something or this person is going to block you or somebody that might have ghosted someone or about to if it hadn't happened, okay? Um, things just seems to be falling apart with this four ones. Things are falling apart here because there's just a lot of conflicts here. There's too many conflicts here. Energy has been blocked or somebody's about to walk away if they haven't done that already. 
and this is where the the say the ship is sailing in the wrong direction okay um because you're trying to find peace here but something has to come to an end something has to be over something has to be deaded and done with because somebody is very controlling very very controlling here mentally controlling mentally abusive and on top of all of that this person may be cheating seeing someone else you guys and that's just on the real it is what i see oh man what is the four of wands the world the nine of swords and the emperor what is this in the reverse please look at that okay so we have the five of swords in the reverse what is the five of swords in the reverse look at this the knight of swords also in the reverse and the ace of wands in the reverse okay so there's no forward movement with your situation the situation is still um kind of sitting where you left it last week and the week before that and the week before that okay something has been set on hold or put on hold all right, so this could be them that has put the situation on hold, or this could be you, but something is still stuck. Something is still sitting there, not mid moved. Even though there's something new that needs to come through, and something is yearning to come through as new as new, but something is still been sitting and frozen here. Now, I do feel like this person's energy has been blocked to help you here with this night. This night just doesn't want to help. This night is very stubborn, you guys. Okay. Um <clears throat> I do feel like you might have felt that this person might have betrayed you some kind of way, shape, or form because that's in the reverse. You're getting some advice from somewhere, which is friends, okay? So that way you could rectify the situation here. But, you know, it's time to move on. It's time to move on here. This is what I'm seeing here. It's time to move on. And someone is just ready to move on. We also have the six of uh, cups also in the reverse here. So for some of you guys, this person either wants to come back with some kind of an apology, but you're not ready to take this. Um, we also have the Eight of Swords. So not only this person coming in for some kind of a reconciliation with you that you're blocking and you're dodging here, but you're about to free yourself from whatever that 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 they may have caused. The Eight of Swords. What this is what I'm seeing, you guys, the Five of Pentacles. You're freeing yourself from this Eight of Swords. You releasing this because this is a third party confirmation here. Someone left you feeling very hurt here. For some of you, this person might have left you with financial responsibility that you might have fend for yourself here. The Queen of Wands. This person made you feel happy, okay? And this is why you might have been feeling. This is why you might have been so hard on yourself not to let this person go. But then we have judgment. <laughs> there was no choice because you really wanted this happy ending here with this person. This person might have promised you this happy ending here. It never came true. Somebody's going to have to make some decision here because someone is dealing with a karmic energy that is attached to this Ten of Wands. I'm sorry, that is attached to this Ten of Cups. Now, the Ten of Cups is telling me that you're an empress, okay? So you could build your own empire. You could release this Three of Swords. That's your betrayal right there. Somebody betrayed, they betrayed the empress. The empress got betrayed. <clears throat> they tried to down your energy. But just forgive and, and let this go because that Three of Swords is in the reverse. Just forgive and let it go. Move, fo move forward because it's causing too much confusion. It's causing too much distraction here. It's time for you to forgive and forget. Not, I wouldn't say forget because you're always going to remember it, okay? But just forgive and just let it go. Move forward, okay? Rebuild your structure here. The Eight of Pentacles. Rebuilding your structure here. Putting in the work to rebuild your money. Get all the good luck that you can because this person is going to be swallowing their sorry, okay? What is the Eight of Pentacles? The Eight of Pentacles is a Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is the Nine of Cups. So there's some massive offer that is coming in. Some kind of an opportunity here. This could be love opportunity. This could be money opportunity. But something, someone wants to offer you something that is great. 
something is coming in get ready for this here um this knight is also here as well they still want to try again with you or this could be someone from your past okay that wants to try again and give you this nine of cups but someone is letting something go here for sure something needs to let go for sure once and for all because your person left someone left so why wait for someone that left why wait for someone that broke your heart get ready for this new opportunity new whatever that is something new what new new is what you need right now somebody needs something new knock knock who is it new honey new 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 the four of cups the seven the four of cups the six of pentacles in the reverse and the three of wands i'm sorry the two of wands so for some of you guys you're about to um to give up something here for something new for sure because you are definitely making plans to make yourself rewarding into what you really want here um you know you're figuring out what you really want if this person could give you what you really need but i see you making a plan here want to make a plan or want to make some decision and to move into something different something new getting something out there something is out there for you that you're trying to move into but I, what I really do feel like whatever you might have invested in, that didn't work, okay? And this will never work, whatever you might have invested in with that situation, because that person is not ready to give. There's no help um, towards you to give you here. This person is jealous about you, jealous about what you got, jealous about your personality, jealous about the way you talk, the way you look. They're jealous, okay? Um, and not only are they jealous, but they're bored and insecure, they're bored and insecure. The four cups, insecurity. But there's good luck that's coming towards you. They can't stop that. There's good luck that's coming towards you. But see, this person, there's no luck. It's like when you're with this person, everything is falling apart. They bring, they they have bad vibes, bad bad vibes. It's time to move with caution. The fool in the reverse and the queen of swords. They're blocked. Their energy is blocked because they are not communicating. They don't want to communicate. They don't know how to communicate. So their energy is blocked. Time to move with caution, honey. Big time. There's shame. Look at that. The five of cups. The five of cups and the page of pentacles in the reverse. So see this manipulation is coming through with this page of pentacles in the reverse. Mind gains and manipulation that's called coming in with sad ass news. This person is ashamed. They're embarrassed. Now I'm hearing a marriage. So if you're not married to this person also, then they're married to someone else. You're shame. They lost control of the connection with you. And now they're in regrets because they're missing you here. And now they want to come back, but it's over. The death. They want to come back. They miss your touch. They miss your love. They miss they miss everything about you. They miss your smell. They miss all of that. But they done messed up. Look at that. The tree of pentacles in the reverse. It's time to move on, honey. Because you thought about this and you know I'm right. Because your energy is low vibration. The king of swords in the reverse. That's blocked too. Your energy is a deadbeat. What is the king of swords? The chariot in the reverse. That person is still stuck. They don't even try to move or nothing. Still kind of weighing their options here, but moving rather slowly for change. They ran out of that options too. And now they're running into the, the, a delay with this ace of cups also in the reverse. This person is just not ready. Not only I feel like they're not ready, but they're kind of coming towards you with something very false. They need more time. They need more time to invest into what is it that they know you want. But they're holding on to how they feel with this four of pentacles. I feel like this person haven't taken you out in a long time. The only thing that you've gotten is stress so far. A whole lot of stress. And having you thinking over time and having you questioning your, your ability to, to, to make someone happy. There ain't nothing wrong with you. There's something wrong with them. The time is just not right um, with this person, with this energy, because they're still in a learning process. 
okay i feel like it's time that you build your empire here um the temperance in the reverse and the ten of pentacles okay you're building something great here you're building your empire you're investing into you invested into self you're investing into your family you're rekindling family structure you're just being you, okay? You're doing you. You're not watching what nobody doing or what nobody having or nothing. You're just doing you, enjoying your life. You're not walking into a situation where you're moving into a tower moment here. You already did that, done that, not going back there. Situation fell apart here. You're moving forward here. The Knight of Pentacles, the Three, the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, okay? So I see you doing big things. You're going to be celebrated here. This person right here, on the other hand, they took from you, all right? And this person seems not to be very responsible, not responsible here, they're not very responsible at all. But what I do see is a big old massive change that is coming and something is coming to you very fast, okay? And that is a change of love here. And not only is love coming into you, there's a situation that this person is still going to be trying to come back here. So for some of you, you just need to know, even though you're trying to move forward to someone new, I see this person still trying to tap into your energy. Bad, bad. They're coming towards you as a king of cups here. Now you're going to be hearing something like, okay, I'm, I want to be stable here. I want to have something long and lasting here. I want to try something again, but clarify this king of cups here. <laughs> the two of swords. Okay, we're clarifying that, baby. So this person will not be communicating the way that you want. They're going to say what you want to hear. But they're not going to do what they say. Okay? This is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm seeing, you guys. They're going to be telling you everything that you want to hear. So that they can get back into your sweet magnolia. Okay? But honey, they will be going right back. And doing the same stu stupidity that they did and pissed you off, okay? And then you're moving into something new, a new relationship that's offering you some kind of a happiness here. Some kind of a friendship, someone that you could let, just let your hair down. And then all of a sudden this person wants to come back in. As a, as a king of cups and give you all these promises things that they should have been doing or saying or whatever from how long ago when they had the chance and the opportunity the right time to do it and as soon as they see you healing and as soon as they see you moving forward and being happy again now they all in love the way that you always wanted them to be ain't that selfish that is selfish selfish and hurtful and spiteful Tell me more, please. The Six of Pentacles. like for some of you though you really want to make some kind of a move here but you're definitely afraid you're filled with fear you guys i'm seeing fear you're filled with nothing but fear but see this fear has to be stopped you have to heal from these fears and put an end to a cycle because it doesn't serve you any good because what I really see is a lot of things that's coming towards you in such a, a blessing and an abundance form. Okay? Because we do have, I have the Page of Pentacles here. The Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Two of Wands. But you have to make a decision, you guys. Because time wait for nobody. Okay? Um, we have the Six of Pentacles here. The Six of Pentacles, the... the the Six of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Pentacles, and then we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. We also have the Five of Cups. Look at that. And then we have the Hermit. I wasn't expecting that, but it's here though. 
What I do see though, for sure, is that you know your person on the on the real is definitely not ready to give up. Okay, um, they're really not ready to give up. They're not wanting to give up. I I really do see you investing or a lot here. Okay, you're a type of person that will really help everyone around you. Um, even if you know with a, with a doubt that these people might have done something to hurt you or, or they was disloyal or they just wasn't there, you will still want to help everyone, okay? Even if it doesn't bring you the balance that you need here with the Six of Pentacles, you're still helping. Um, but what I really do see you doing right now, Aries, is really investing into you on a, on a level of no return. You're putting in some really serious work, okay? Um, you're making some choices here. I see you making some healthy choices, okay? It's like, it's like you know, whatever you've been given, I feel like angels is really kind of helping you to start investing in, in, in being you. For some of you, I'm seeing you putting in the work maybe to buy a house or moving into a better place. Maybe you have children that you're trying to get out of a, a neighborhood you want to move into something really nice you're putting in this work and i feel like this coming through for you okay it's definitely going to happen i see the work putting in and i see the reward that's coming out of it um and with the eight of wands being here and the five of cups you don't want to get any setback or any distraction so you have to block whatever that doesn't serve this this manifestation period okay you cannot be given situations any more energy. Let's just say that because then you're going to be falling into a deep place of sadness here. Okay. Um, and, and shame and hurt once again. So you can't allow this to happen. For some of you, you know, yes, it's okay to search for the answers and the clarity that you need. And But when you do search for these clarity, let's be sure that you're connected with the right kind of a source where you're getting the right answers that you're needing right now. What is the hermit, please? Please clarify this hermit, please. Please clarify this hermit. All right, so we clarified that with the Seven of Pentacles, okay? So you're kind of unsure for some of you. You're not really sure if you're on the right path. You know, you're not really sure about where you, it is that you really go. You're not really sure about decisions that you have to make. But again, with the decision that is coming in, I do feel like you really have to be connected to people who are on your level of giving you advice, proper advice, okay? Um, we have the eight, the eight of wands. Oh, look at that. You're rising from a situation. You're getting out of it. All right, so there's maybe a little stall here. I'm feeling a little stall here. The stall is just because there's this situation where someone has really attached themselves to you, but you're moving away from this or something fast approaching is new. You're rising into something that is a, is a, that's connected to abundance, okay? So even though you feel a little bit dispirited right now, like you're not sure where you're planting your seeds or where you're putting your foot, it is going to happen for you. But there's something that needs to be blocked or stopped or had already has. Based on what your ancestors are giving here, the Ace of Cups in the reverse, okay? So something is, is not giving anymore. So because it's not giving, it's because it's not bringing you anything that has to be with stability and balance and love and new, anything that is new and anything that is fresh, a bread of fresh here, then this is going to be blocked or it already has. What is the Ace of Cups in the reverse? There you go. The fool in the reverse. That's done with. Because someone didn't look to see where they was going when they bump into a wall here. So that's going to be getting out of your way. That is going to be removed here. No more mistakes. No more time to waste. Okay, the Ten of Cups also in the reverse. So that's going to be blocked. The energy that you're trying to plant here or whatever they might have promised you to give to you, that's blocked. That's not going to happen. Someone put an end to a dream here. So this person could be very destructive at this point. They're not giving. They are not giving, you guys. That situation that you're holding onto your energy is pulling this person in. Oh, my goodness. Let me go and take a sip here. Mm. 
why am I feeling like I is like this is how I'm feeling. I'm gonna tell you the honest truth what I'm feeling here, okay? Because you know I'm just gonna tell it as it is. It's one thing about Juliana, I'll tell you guys as I see it. You know when you're telling someone don't go over there because if you go over there, there's a wall and if you keep going, you're going to bump into that wall and you're going to get a really big, big bump in the head and you're going to be hurt in that wall. And that person just doesn't listen and still continue to walk into that wall and bump and fall and get hurt. That's what I'm feeling with this read right here. Okay. It's like I'm seeing a situation for what it really is. And I just feel like for some of you, you're not going to take my advice. This is what I'm seeing here, okay? I'm going to tell you exactly again. Now, I do see some changes needs to happen here with your connection with your person, okay? Some changes has to happen. Now, if this person doesn't change, not because you're asking them to do that, but because they should be ready to make the change for you simply because they love and respect you. Now, if you decide to push forward here, right? If you decide to keep pushing, because see, you're trying not to do what you're not needed to do, but you're still good because you're still looking for answer to see if this person um, is your soulmate and if this person is willing for you to invest anything more but the head is a hell no because i see this person making you feeling very shame here or this could be them their energy is giving me low vibration because this is a nine of cups in the reverse and this is also the ten of pentacles there's no investment here there's no manifestation here this person is not giving you anything but stress okay this is all the stress that's coming in from this person here even the ten of cups Everything that has to do with someone giving you what you really truly wanted is in the reverse. There's nothing coming from that. The only thing that I'm seeing here is you moving into what you need to be doing. Because justice has to take care of this. Justice has to take care of this. You can't do this. You're not justice. God is. Okay, so God, justice is going to come in and balance what, what you cannot Justice is taking control of this because there's a movement that needs to end and the cycle that needs to end. You need to come to a situation here where you say, Lord, I can't do this anymore. This, this situation is not for me to carry this burden, this load anymore. You do this work. I can't do it anymore. You fix this burden. I can't fix this burden anymore. I'm letting it go. I'm walking away, oh dear Father God, and I'm going to let you take care of this because it is not for me to take on anymore, okay? This is what I'm seeing. Let it go. Do what you got to do because I do see you doing big things. I do see you picking up your pieces and moving forward and being happy. But this situation right here, Aries, is something that you cannot force. Don't force it because what I do see happening, if you continue to force this person to come into your life and just abuse you mentally, emotionally, and financially, I am getting a, a five of cups on that. That is your true result. Tears. Okay? Hurt. Hurt. A lot of pain and a lot of hurt and a lot of sadness. That way you're not going to be really getting the true blessings that you need as far as healing your heart and as far as moving forward and building yourself back up to the point where you're buying your brand new house, you're buying your brand new car, you get yourself all cleaned up and get ready for true love, new love, okay? Because if this person is not ready to love you the way that you need to be loved, honey, unconditional love, because love don't cost nothing. Love, it doesn't hurt, okay? Love does not hurt. When somebody loves you, it does not hurt. It shouldn't hurt. It should only make you feel good, real good, okay? Now, that is going to be your reading. This is your mega one. I do hope that it did resonate with you. This is going to be my last read for the night. Um, so, please go ahead and let me know if you do need a prayer request, okay, guys? And again, if you guys are interested in my, my deck, okay, um, the Awakening 1111, it is up for purchase right now, 
um just go in and check in the description and you'll be able to purchase this deck okay all right my darlings i love you guys so 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 much and again if you do need a prayer request leave your initials down below pray for me as i'm always praying for you and with that said always remember to seek first and you always find bye guys Thank you.